school. No matter how great your kids are, they always make mistakes, too. In fact, I, I found this letter that was written from a young man to his father. I thought I'd read it to you today. The father was passing by his son's bedroom, and he was astonished to see that the bed was actually made and everything in the room was picked up. But then he saw an envelope sitting on the pillow, and it was addressed to him. So with the worst premonition, he opened the envelope with trembling hands, and this is what it read. Dear Dad, it's with great regret and sorrow that I'm writing you. I had to elope with my new girlfriend because I wanted to avoid a scene with Mom and you. I've been finding real passion with Stacy. She's so nice. And I knew that you would not approve of her because of all her piercings and tattoos and tight motorcycle clothes and because she's so much older than I am. But it's not only a passion, Dad. She's pregnant. Stacy said that we'll be very happy. She owns a trailer in the woods and has a stack of firewood for the whole winter. We share a dream of having many more children, and Stacy's opened my eyes to the fact that marijuana doesn't really hurt anyone. We're going to be growing it ourselves and trading it with the other people in the commune for all the cocaine and ecstasy that we could ever want. In the meantime, we'll pray that science finds a cure for AIDS so Stacy can get better. She sure deserves it. Dad, don't worry. I'm 15, and I know I can take care of myself. Someday, I'm sure, we'll be back to visit so you can meet your grandchildren. Love your son, John. At the bottom of the letter says, P.S. Dad, none of the above is true. I'm over at Tommy's house. I just wanted to remind you there are worse things in life than the report card in my center desk drawer. <laughs> I love you. Call when it's safe to come home. <laughs>